Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Boston. We're in Boston Commons. You got the State House of Massachusetts behind me, and there's all kinds of great stuff that you can do when you are here in Boston. But this video isn't for that. This video is for things you don't do when you are here in Boston. And the first thing you don't do is you don't use your Boston accent, look, or however you want to say it, however you want to make fun of a really deep, crazy Boston accent. Look, no one finds it funny, no one's going to appreciate it, no one's going to laugh at you about it, so don't do it, okay? And what's funny is we've been here for a while and we haven't really heard it hardly at all because you've had so many people that have come here and moved here and kind of mixed around that that Boston accent, the Boston accent you want to make fun of, you don't really hear from anymore, okay? So that's the first thing. Don't do the accent, okay? Second don't. Don't get tricked into thinking you're going to have a historic meal at, at the Quincy Market or something like that or go to the South Market to see old-timey stores. Look, Quincy Market is basically a mall food court. The South Market, North Market, these kind of things, these are your mall shops. So though it looks really historical and historic, it isn't, okay? So don't be fooled by that. Go and explore, find other local restaurants instead of doing those things. Now you can do the food court, that's fine, but just know you might not want to do that. Oh, there also, if you want to go to Cheers, the one that's there, don't go to that Cheers. If you want to go to the real Cheers, that was actually a TV show. They do have a fake remade Cheers at Quincy Market, okay? Now, the third don't I have for you is don't worry about jaywalking. Look, the fine for jaywalking is really negligible from what I hear, like a dollar or two. Not a big deal. And you're going to see the people here in Boston jaywalk like like crazy. I mean, they're like next level jaywalkers here because there's a lot of one-way streets, bendy roads, people are going slow, not sure where they're supposed to be, things like that. And people take that opportunity to jaywalk and cross whenever they can because the lights don't change that often. So if you're a tourist, make sure you're following the locals, but do look because you never know which one's going to be a one-way or a two-way or these kind of things. So do be careful with that, okay? But don't worry too much about the jaywalking. Fourth don't I have for you is don't like bring up the Yankees and compare Yankees and Red Sox or Giants and and New and Patriots and the, the New York versus Boston thing. Look, they're completely different cities. I wouldn't even compare the two because one, I mean, they're just completely different beasts. Like there's a historical beast, so there's the New York beast. There's all these different things, and people here don't really like it when you start to compare it. They sometimes seem to have like this complex about it. So best not to even bring up New York and things like that because it's not super appreciated. Um, the fifth don't I have for you is for you students out there don't bother applying for Harvard you're probably not gonna go in get in okay but if you're a tourist well I you can get into some of the buildings there you can't get into the classes but just know Harvard and Cambridge it's a different area when you do come here but don't expect to get in everywhere you know whether it's classes or get accepted there are some things that are open to public but sometimes it can be limited now the sixth don't I have for you is don't come in the winter the winters here are brutal like cold windy lots of snow like the kind of snow levels that when you dig out your car and put a, a, a folding chair there to save your seat if someone comes and take it takes your spot no one cares if you destroy their car and vandalize their car because dude you don't take somebody's spot that they dug out okay so winter not cool rest of the year awesome place to be okay seventh don't i have for you is don't just do the freedom trail that's the freedom trails that red brick line on there that you go around to see all the historic sites you don't actually have to walk on top of it. you can walk next to it or on the other side of the street but don't just do that there's a lot more to see here you know go to you know the the back bay go to fenway go see the you know baseball game and go to the museum of fine arts there's all kinds of other stuff to do here not just the freedom trail say so don't just do that and the eighth don't i have for you when you are in boston is don't eat at places you've heard of before. Go and explore. There's tons of restaurants. Yes, the seafood here, and everyone's gonna say they have the best clam chowder. Try them all. It's okay. The seafood's fantastic. Lots of great restaurants. Lots of great bars when you're here. Great beers from all around New England. You can buy here and drink here and enjoy. There's so much fun to be had here. So make sure you go out and try those no places, not just your chain places. You can have those at home. Explore and have those kind of old, American standards that came from here because there is a lot of great food and great drink from here in Boston. So if you want to see more travel videos like this, you know, five things you're going to love and hate about Boston, five things you love and hate about New England, 10 things that will shock you about America, why don't you check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, our YouTube channel. If you subscribe on our YouTube channel, click that subscribe button. You'll get new videos, at least two new videos about travel every week from different places all around the world. So I want to say thank you, and please do click that like button or subscribe button. Have a great time here in Boston. I'm, I, I don't even worry about it because you will. This city's fantastic. Also cool for kids too. Bye from Boston.